Hi everyone. Welcome back to Sun Arts. If you're new, welcome to the family. Today's video is collaboration with Gravy and I received this beautiful Gravy box from them and I'm going to talk a little bit about the company and I'll show the items in there. And this is their beautiful website where you can find all the crafting supplies and they have like a monthly subscription package and I, I think I received the April box and you kind of get like all the supplies that are needed for your project for that month and you can get monthly subscriptions from them like 49 50 and they are like a different packages that you can you know order from them and there are like a lot of other supplies like paint brushes stickers junk journals scrapbooking and a lot of items that you can surf through their website they created this company during pandemic, uh, I think it's January 2021 and they have two branches, one in Los Angeles and one in Shanghai. During pandemic, all of us were locked in so we were actually trying to tap our creative corner and then we are kind of exploring our art side of it and then this company actually provided with all the art and crafting supplies. Little bit about them is that they are very environment conscious, keeping go green in their mind with when they are doing this production of this all crafting supply i'm very happy to collaborate with uh, this kind of a company for every order made one dollar is given to this grabby art fund and this fund is provided to the people who do not have access to this art supplies so let's all support this great cause you guys now let's get to the best part opening of this box i'm so excited to see what are the items inside this box they come in a nice package and with the like pink tissue paper cover with a sticker on top now let's see what we have i have this beautiful oh my god this is such a beautiful uh, cardstock and i told that i want something like shabby chic so that they, they gave me this beautiful booklet which has got like beautiful designs this cherubs this beautiful vintage roses birds and i think like victorian style designs and i'm so happy with this i have so many ideas when i'm seeing this and i'm going to show you what i came up with towards the end of the video and this is such a beautiful gift i would say thank you so much gravy and i'm so happy with the first piece already the next one is vintage material paper flower designs and these are like some retro flowers and they have such a nice designs i think they're like four of each design i think five of each design have 10 designs i believe and they are like 50 pieces and they are definitely of a great quality i would say and i am so excited about this one i'm having so many ideas already so let's move on with the next item next item is this uh, antique uh, stamp ink i believe and i'm going to use that with this finger dabber they have like a sponge towards the end i think you have to just insert your finger through it and then dab on where you want it to do I already have an idea of what to do you're going to see towards the end okay let me open this and show how beautiful this is and there are two in a pack and they have sponge and you just enter you put your finger and then dab it so this is one of it so let's move on with the next one this is actually one junk journaling a book or a diary and it has beautiful leather cover and it also has a nice protection band so it doesn't things doesn't fall off and i want to show how it looks inside and this is having like a beautiful metallic uh, design in one corner and it also has this uh, a ziploc pocket you can put some stickers and stuff like that and these are these are having like a beautiful thick paper I think you can do a junk journaling on one side and also you can write on the other side they have thin papers on the other side and some pockets to you know store some stickers or buttons and stuff like that they have two sides to that and this has got like beautiful leather cover and i love this beautiful brownish beigeish brown i don't know how to call this but it's a beautiful color and this is another uh, good product from them you can store all your stuff i think i'm going to store some of my stickers in there and this is such a beautiful thing thank you gravy and i'm also going to show some of these uh, stickers 
that I got from another box inside the grabby you have this plastic pouch where you can reuse this pouch and we have like different kinds of papers here and this is one of the uh, I think thin paper with a lot of uh, speckles on it it's got like nice texture and this has got also like a handmade paper I believe it has got some beautiful holes and texture to it and I love this one this is my favorite today in this pack and this is also nice background paper that you want to use and some of them are like leather texture this one has got like nice leather texture and this has honeycomb design to it and it's i think it's kind of nylon to fat touch to it and this is another soft paper and i think all these papers are handmade and uh, they are precious i would say and this is another paper i don't know what i'll use this for and another soft paper and uh, this is something like um, i think just below the uh, carpet you put this kind of thing right that kind of uh, texture i get and this is another beautiful uh, textured paper and these are all handmade like i said and they're all of great quality and i'm having some ideas to do i'm going to use all these items to make like different projects today so you're going to see towards the end of the video and this pouch has some more stickers to it let me open and show what i have here and they have like bunch of stickers i think i have a lot of supplies that for, for the years to come i believe and this is some of the flower stickers i have and all this beautiful pink flower sticker and i think i'm already having an idea to use this for one of the project i just love this beautiful dark pink flowers some of them are roses some of them are tulips some of them are carnations and some of them are some other tiny flowers i don't know their names and they are beautiful that's all i'll say <laughs> and the next package has this vintage stickers some of them are round some of them are like picture frame and another picture frame of a vintage style victorian style and some other cute uh, stickers that i wanted to use for my so many projects i believe this is such a cute cloche they are like different types of cloche stickers actually these are like paper stickers that you have to apply glue stick behind or maybe like mod podge to use this and some of these are like uh, uh, fall leaf um, stickers and also this is one of the beautiful uh, mason jar sticker and also some of them another bunch of uh, stickers are like uh, butterflies lot of butterflies different colors and shapes and sizes and also we have a lot of birds oh my god i'm having so many ideas with this i think there are like 20 stickers like they have like 10 different designs and shapes of birds of two each and uh, that's about the birds now the, i have this beautiful vintage stickers that i can use for so many projects they are very thin and delicate and when you apply it onto the surface i think it just blends within it doesn't even show the exterior border to it it's that great quality so i'm going to use one of this for one of the project actually i'm going to use all of this so this is one of the cute stickers of a nice border that you can you know write something inside or you know leave it just like that maybe and these are some of the other bunch of stickers so these are all the stuff together you guys i just organized in all together so you can see everything in one go and this is your april subscription box contents and they also gave me a coupon code of sun 10 if you're ordering you'll get like 15 percent off on top of this affordable items now i'm going to use these items and make a beautiful craft so this is one of the picture frame it has got like two glasses and this is one of the tissue paper which has got like lace design to it so i just place that tissue paper in between those two glasses so it looks like a fabric there so now i'm also taking this beautiful uh, rose stickers uh, from those floral stickers and i'm using this crafting tweezers this will help if you have a sticky surface and you wanted to hold stickers and it will help in placing in the right position i believe 
Now I'm going to take this glue stick and I'm going to generously apply it towards the back. I think there is also, you can peel the back and also stick it. So for now I'm going to apply the glue stick and attach it to this glassy surface, just like so. Now I also have this beautiful butterflies. I'm also going to stick butterflies all around the florals just like that. And this is how it looks after they're all done and I'm not going to overdo it and I'm going to stop here. And isn't that cute nice vintage and shabby chic look where flowers and butterflies and lacy background and yeah I'm very much happy with the end result. I hope you would like it as well. Please let me know your thoughts. Next we are going to make a bookmark. For this I am going to use one of this beautiful thick tag uh, that I got from my supplies and, and I am applying the leather textured paper on either side of that um, tag and I am applying like generous amount of a hot, uh, not hot glue, glue stick on either side of the tag and I applied the uh, leather textured paper on either side. Now I'm also taking this uh, finger dabber and applying this uh, vintage stamping ink on four corners and this is how it looks. After the vintage ink is stuck on the corners, now I'm going to select one of this beautiful uh, stocking paper which has vintage floral designs, retro flowers. So I'm just going to you know take a generous amount of glue stick on top of the tag. One side I just let the leathery textured paper and one side I'm going to stick this floral design and after I stuck generously applying the glue stick now I'm going to use this uh, you know sanding stone to remove any excess paper and I'm also using skewers to poke a hole because this is already a fabric tag which came with one of the dresses so it already has a hole so I don't have to punch the hole I just you know entered the screw skewer through it and now I'm using this stencils stencils are also part of the box so I took one of them which has like a vintage style letter so I'm just tracing one more page to give like a more motivational quote there and I also have this beautiful blue color butterfly I'm also sticking that on top of the letters and I also have this beautiful thin vintage stickers that I was talking about and this has got like a beautiful letter and also you know in olden days they used to write with feathered ink right ink feather so that's one of it and I thought that's more relatable with reading and writing so I'm also taking generous amount of mud patch to seal all the letters and the stickers when it comes in contact with water so it doesn't you know peel off or fall off and I'm also taking some of this cotton lace and I just measure to the le length that I want and I'm actually inserting that through one of the skewers and through the hole and then I'm going to tie a knot to finish the look And the last thing I duct tail the edges so that uh, uh, you know it doesn't have a frayed edges uh, to finish the look and I'm going to show the details of how it looks on either side and this is the reveal of my beautiful vintage bookmark and this is something that I gave it to my daughter and she was very happy to have it you see this beautiful design of the paper and also the sticker and my antiquing wax actually it's not antiquing wax it's antique stamp ink and this is the other side which has one more page and these are like a nice um, vintage style letters that i chose for the stencil yeah this is one of it please let me know your thoughts and let's move on to another diy i wanted to use this beautiful shabby chic vintage style uh, background paper and I also wanted to use one of the textured paper that came in that uh, small pouch so I'm going to attach that to the back of the frame and I just put my glass on top of it now I'm going to stick this on top of the glass just got like beautiful cycle I think spring I just chose the spring design there they're like roses and beautiful verbiage 
of vintage style and some cycle in there to represent spring and I also attached some greenery and uh, tiny um, cotton lace bow and a pink rose to finish the look and I also stuck one of the birdie in one corner that's one of the stickers as I promised I wanted to use all the items that came in the box and this is another cute vintage style you know decor that I'm very much happy with I hope you would like it as well this is the last year I promised this is one of the night lamp and I just chose this circular night lamp which has got like beautiful colors when it glows and I have this vintage style sticker which has a nice doily a background and some roses and beautiful verbiage on it so I'm just going to stick what that uh, in the center of this uh, night light lamp and uh, I'm going to take like generous amount of uh, glue stick onto the back of the sticker and I'm going to stick in the center just like so see how beautiful this is this is one of the cute night lamp and it does give you like a vintage vibes it does give to me <laughs> so i just love the end result of this one too so you have to let me know what your thoughts are so these are some of the diys that i made using the grabby april subscription box i'm very happy with the end result of the products and also the diys today if you want your box, you can use a coupon code of SUN10 to get like 15% off on top of the purchase. And I want to take a moment to thank Grabby for this beautiful box and to thank all of you for giving the constant support that you've been giving towards my channel thank you thank you so much you guys and if you like some of these ideas and you would like to join the family i'll be more than happy if you click on the subscribe button and join the family until next time if you'd like to see some of my videos i'm going to tag some in the right corner of the screen and like i always say thank you so much for watching today and i'll see you again